Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Avalon and today I have another seed discovery video for you. We're in Valheim, obviously. And today is just, quote, a good solid seed, end quote. Um, this seed has pretty good boss distribution. You're going to have to sail a little bit. Um, the trader is fairly close to a couple of the bosses, which is good. Um, it's going to set you up for a decent end game because the Yagloth and the Queen spawn are fairly close and they're right next to the Ashlands. However, it's not super easy. You're not going to speed run here. Um, and you're going to have to get in a boat and sail around and navigate a couple of uh, tough spots. So I think this is just a really good solid seed. And it does have a great Maypole location on the water, which is right over there, by the way. And we'll get into this in a minute. So before we get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So right off the bat, yes, we have a Maypole. As if you're a frequent flyer on my channel, you know that 95 to 99% of the seeds that I do have Maypoles. This one's pretty cool. It's got... A little bit of a pond over here, which is nothing um, spectacular, but it opens up to wide open ocean, which is great. And you've got ocean that way as well. I can see you maybe building something around here or over here. Here's your maypole, build a shrine, whatever you want. A uh, little pool here, which is great because you're going to get necks. Um, you've got a couple of piggies running around, which is good. This particular maypole little village only has one building but you've got three six eight and over here you've got another three you've got 11 raspberry bushes in the area which is pretty good you can see you've got a bee queen bee right there as well so right off the bat you're going to have two out of the three starter um resources for food and then you know obviously you've got boars that you can you got one over here. There's usually a couple running around that you can just fence in, but you got necks. Um, you're going to be fine for food. Now, you've also got a deer spawn over here. Very, very good loca starting location. This, oh geez, I'm whipping around fast. I apologize for that. This starter little building is sufficient enough to get going. So you just repair this, and then you can start your build. Um, you're in pretty good meadow location you've got a couple of buildings over here as well but the highlight here is obviously the maypole overlooking this big vast ocean um i think you could do a lot with this build uh with this area here uh, i like it because it's right by the water it's got a lot of the basic resources that i look for if i was starting a new seed i want the, f the easy food I want it in at least one out building that i can repair up real quick and to start my operation and um you know it's got a maypole which is I, I think we're in pretty good shape here uh this is a really really good location now this on this seed this is on a little on an island away from your starter spawn okay your spawn is way over here okay this is its own little island you are going to have to cheat mode over here or you can just you know build a raft or a boat and get over here so there is that what I normally do when I find like a seed that I really want to play, like this is a seed that I would play. Um, I will go into cheat mode, drop myself off here, and then exit cheat mode permanently. Now, I don't go into cheat mode in my vanilla playthrough, but in some playthroughs that I've done in the past, I've gone into cheat mode a lot just to kind of speed run stuff. Um, you do you, but this maypole is away from the spawn you're going to have to get over here now let's take a look at the map real quick so here we go there's actually two maypoles here this is the one we're at right here okay this island isn't tiny by any stretch of the imagination but um here's the other maypole i didn't check it out it looks like it's right in the middle here i mean that could be another nice build i have no idea um i like maypoles that are right on the open ocean and this one is right out into deep ocean it's great here's your spawn 
Okay, so you're going to have to come down here. You cannot swim this. You're going to have to get in a raft. You're going to have to go to cheat mode to get over here. Not the end of the world, but so you got that. But let's take a look at the bosses, and this is what makes this, like I said, a good solid seed. The bosses are decent here. Now, what I want you to do is pay close attention to the northwest, right over here. Okay, this is where they all are for the most part. Now, that's why I call this a great, a nice solid seed, is because you are going to have to sail a little bit to get to these guys. Okay, um, the bone mass and motor, you, I think you could probably run them. But you've got the Queen and Yagloth right here, which is your end game. You've got your mid game right here for bone mass, and then there's a motor. And it's fairly close to your maypole. Now, the good news is, is the trader is right up here by this bone mass. No, obviously there's other traders in the game, right? But the play here is going to be, you're going to maybe speed run Ichthyr, okay? Set up a, a little camp by the spawn with a, you know, a uh, portal so you can get back and forth. Then you got to come over here, set up your main base for your rest bonus, etc. Get in your boat and sail. Uh, you're going to be able to come up here, all the way over here, Maybe grab this trader or grab that trader, whichever one you want. There's your elder, and then there's your bone mass. So there's your mid game, and then when you're done, boom, right back to motor. So you're not really going too far. And again, the best part about this is is a little bit of a sale, but here's your end game stuff. You've got Yagloth, and you've got plenty of uh, Miss Lands and the Queen. And if we look, we're 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 okay to the Ashland. It's not great, but it's way better than being up north, because a lot of the times you find seeds, like this up here, you've got a Yagloth and a Moto close together, you've got a Queen way over here, or you've got a Queen up here. Going north isn't going to be good for us long term, because the, the play, the next big update we're going to get with Valheim is the Ashlands. They've already talked about it, and for all the maps I've looked at, that's the south. So we want to go to the to the southwest or the southeast or directly south if we can. This is moderately okay. Um, you've got another queen down here, which would be great. Um, or you can come south. I mean, if if you notice here, you've got a whole you've got a motor, a bone mass, a yagloth, and a queen right here. The problem here is is number one, you don't have an elder. Number two, you've got a trader here, which is okay. But this trader up here is all right. So I think for a second um, possible play is, is you're going to go south. You've got the open ocean. You can sail down here. You get that trader quickly. Um, and this opens up your Yagloth, your bone mass, a couple of Yagloths, queen and motor. Um, and, you know, the elder you're just going to have to go find. So I think there's two really good plays here. I like the southern play a lot. I... But the one to the northwest is also decent because you've really got Bone Mass and Elder right next to each other with the trader. Those are three main points of interest that you want to have close together. But again, this southern play isn't a bad one either. Okay, you've got pretty good bosses concentrations right here, and you're super close to the Ashland. So that's good. Now let's look at Leviathan since we're going to probably end up in a boat sailing a little bit here. Um, plenty of Leviathans by your maypole. You've got two right here. You've got plenty right here. There's another, what, five here and then a bunch right here by this trader. Leviathans are not a problem. This is a very, very good uh, seed for Leviathans by this maypole. You should have no problem getting enough chitlin to get your abyssal harpoon or whatever else you want to do there. Let's look at tombs and crypts, because that's really the heartbeat of where what we want to know. So, a mixed bag, okay? The good news is, is you've got enough on your starter spawn to get into the dark, to the black forest, get a couple of certainly cores, get a portal built, and then you can just come back and forth to the spawn location. You build a base over here, you're good. Now, if you come down over here to this maypole, um, the good news is, as a sail away, you've got a nice swamp with plenty of sunken crypts. That's number one. That's positive. You've got a few 
uh, dark uh, black forest crypts here. That's okay. Um, up here by this bone mass, not bad. And up here by the trader. So your dark, your black forest and your swamp is pretty solid. The swamp specifically, it's just directly to the west of you. Now let's take a look down here. This bone mass is exceptional. Okay, and I say that because it's got a couple of things going for it. It's, number one, it's got a whole bunch of sunken crypts right here by the bone mass. Now, what? Yeah, uh, this is an exploit, I'm going to tell you. But what you can do is, is you can just simply climb up on the bone mass um, spawn and just range him. And you've got to deal with the adds, but it takes a long time, but that's an easy way to kill him. Now, another thing that you can do is, is you can run in and out of the sunken crypt. And you can see here, you've got sunken crypts right up against that bone mass spawn. That's really good. Um, that's something that we definitely want to see. That's a good play. The motor, not really sure. Let's take a look at the frost caves. Only a couple down here. Nothing on your maypole here. This motor up here has plenty of frost caves, um, which isn't bad. You don't have any on your starter island. So you're going to go north to get those, or you come down here. But that's right in the heart of the Mistlands. You're going to have to go through the Mistlands to get to this motor. It makes it a lot less attractive. The better motor play is to the north here. Um, plenty of uh, mountain caves. Uh, frost caves uh, that's just to get the resources for different build options you don't need um, there's not a whole lot that you have to get out of the out of those um, I, I've gone through the mountain biome and not used anything out of here I haven't really needed it um, I want wolf armor and silver when I come to the mountains I don't really need to get into the frost caves however that's something you're interested in the north is definitely the better play Let's take a look at how does Yagloth look? We want to get do that. So the Yagloths, okay. I don't want those totems. Yes, thank you. Okay, you got a couple here. Um, you, what you want to see is something like this, where you've got five or six camps, where you can just grab grab the totems, and then you've got the Yagloth. You don't have a lot right here. That's not a very good Yagloth location um, in terms of resources. And this one isn't either. However, this one is. This one to the south here. And the other good news with this is, is you've got a little spot here in the middle that you could probably build. Okay, so you've got plenty on this Yagloth to the south uh, to get your, your totems to get him uh, spawned. So I forgot the dragon eggs. I like to try to do all of these in the same order, right? So when I'm hitting the mountains, I want to talk about all the stuff. Let's go back to the dragon eggs real quick. Because the important thing on this particular seed is, is which way you're going to go. You're going to go up here to the north. You're going to come down here to the south. This motor has one dragon egg near it. That's a bad motor location, and it's surrounded by the mist lands. However, it's got four bosses right by it. So you build one super base down here, uh, fortify it maybe in the plains or whatever, and you've got a whole bunch of bosses right here. However, the practicality is, is you what you want to see for a motor location is you want to see all the eggs, at least three eggs in the area. Like this one's got a whole bunch right up here, right? Um, we need those eggs. Now, it, you're going to have to travel. I think the motor play is to the north, to be honest. And that's why initially when I started the video, I said, you know, let's, let's grab these to the north with the trader, and then we can come back and bang out motor. It, at that point, you may want to come down here to play to the south because we want to be close to the Ashlands. But it's nice that you've got the options that you've got these bosses here. But the Yagloth, the Yagloth to the south is probably superior to the one over here. So a lot, 
some tough choices for you to make, and that's why I think this is a good seed. It's a solid seed. You've got some options, but either none of them are super simple. Okay, you're going to be challenged. What else can I show you? Let's get some of the basic stuff out of the way. Where are the troll caves? Nice little troll cave right here, up here, that you can set up a portal so you can just port in, grab your bosses here. This one's okay. It would be this one's nice because it it allows you to just run right through this mistlands into the into the mountains for a quick motor hit. Um, but you got to get over there. That's that's maybe not such an easy sail because you got to come through this plains and then the mistlands should be too hard. But still, um, I like to build portal hubs inside of uh, troll caves. As you know, if you've watched my channel enough, you know that's what I like to. Uh, do with them, and I always look for troll caves around a trader and or bosses, so we're in decent shape for those. Not great. Beehives. Plenty on the starter island. Um, you've got also plenty on your maypole area island as well. Um, that shouldn't be any problem for you at all. I was going to show you. Useful runes with the piggies plenty of boars around the maypole. Um, again, you shouldn't have any trouble with meat. Now, interestingly, this maypole up here has a has a uh, boar stone right next to it. That may actually be pretty cool. You can domesticate them around that, that stone. You can fence it. They will domesticate. Um, however, they will respawn there as you... As you uh, as you kill them, I'm pretty sure the way that it works is is it looks at, the game looks at how many boars are attached to that stone. Right? And I'm pretty sure that as new, as you kill the original boars that were there, new boars will spawn. But I don't think they'll spawn inside of your fenced-in area. I have to check that. I haven't done that in a while. Um, but overall, I think we've got a fairly solid seed here. I'm not going to do much on the mistlands. Um, I think at this point, you, you know, the mistlands, you, you're going to have to go there and figure out what you want to do. Um, and most of my seed discovery videos, I do do, um, I show you where the swords are, the spawners, etc. But in all candor, I haven't done much in the mistlands yet. I can't tell you what the, the best play is. When I'm doing these Sea Discovery deep dives, I really want to find a good play that sets me up for end game. And, and the Mistlands right now is the end game, and Ashlands will be the next end game. This play to the south is probably it. Now, what's around the Queen? Does it really matter? You're probably going to go there anyways. We'll take a look. It's decent. You've got enough around here to, to get you whatever you need. Um, but that's the play. Anyways, um... Oh, it's nighttime already. Uh, it's a good seed. Um, this is definitely going to be good for a solo player. This is going to be good for somebody who's coming back to Valheim, who knows the basics, but wants a somewhat of a challenge, but doesn't want to experience the hard, the, the hard aspects of the game, which is mostly discovery. I mean, let's face it, the most challenging part of Valheim is finding everything. Okay. If you've got an empty map, you got to run around and find all the stuff. This is a is just the right amount of sailing, finding a location, and then setting up a camp, and then exploring outward, which will reveal multiple bosses, um, either going south or to the to the northwest. It's a good solid seed. If beginner players, this is definitely a seed that I would play. Um, but of course, you got to get to this maypole. Okay. Now, when you do that, it's really up to you, but you are going to have to sail here or go into cheat mode. And I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like to go into cheat mode. Um, that's cool. Totally get it. Anyways, um, don't have much else to add to this. I've elaborated on this seed quite a bit. Um, I think it's a really good starter seed for people. Uh, and that's why I've spent a long time here. Um, I don't think this would be great if you're looking for a speed run. I don't think this would be great for a modded playthrough. I think this is just a good, solid seed 
for a pure uh, non-cheat playthrough of Valheim. Y you've seen the map now, so you know which way to go. Check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this definitely a starter seed, or is this something that um, you may try as a veteran? I don't know. I think this would definitely be a seed that I would play if I was just starting. And, and I saw this video, I would definitely check it out. Anyways, I appreciate you coming by, taking your time to watch my content. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you again soon.